Hello YouTube, on se retrouve de si bon matin encore une fois pour jouer à Metal Gear Solid 2, c'est l'épisode 10, j'avais rage kid, je sais que c'est pas bien, mais maintenant je suis calmé, j'ai dormi, je me suis reposé, et on va essayer de lancer ce putain de missile en fait. Normalement, ça devrait se passer, je crois savoir où l'envoyer. Euh, par contre, bah, la maniabilité est toujours à chier, donc euh, j'espère que vous ne m'en voudrez pas. Allez, j'aimerais bien le réussir du premier coup cette fois-ci. Bah, c'est raté. Voilà. Oh, mais putain, mais... Et vous avez... Bon, là, là j'ai trollé, d'accord, je, je suis OK avec cet état de fait. Mais vous avez vu à quel point ils sont serrés, les murs Je crois qu'il est frustré, en vrai, Kojima <rire> Parce qu'en fait, il n'y avait pas besoin de faire si compliqué. J'ai rien touché. Bon là, ok. Mais c'est si dur Bon, le premier coup, hein, je pense que c'est foutu, vous avez compris. Je vais essayer de prendre... Large. En fait, je trouve que la hitbox du missile est vraiment abusée, quoi. Là, normalement, c'est bon. Mais casse-toi, trou du cul Et pour toi, c'est la YouTube. Yes Ok, il y avait juste ça. Ah C'est bon. Bon, on y est. Quel enfer. Euh, alors maintenant, la question, c'est euh, à quoi ça sert ce que j'ai fait President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh! oh. Hmm. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Que diable well, pour what the hell? Foxhound, sir. C'est mal traduit Fox quand même. Hound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Les petits os de ton oreille. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. <laughs> You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, 
income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. Mm. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... <laughs> You'll understand someday. Euh, non, pas trop. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. <laughs> I intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased Super to function? Du complot en cette époque. Picture a massive <laughs> political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this <laughs> Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. <laughs> Neither <laughs> solid nor liquid. He was a Les Enfants Terribles. But the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke liquid snake bringing about the said incident as a result he succeeded in obtaining rex and the data on the warhead but in doing so he ended up revealing the existence of both rex and the genome army a blunder that earned him the wrath of the patriots shortly thereafter solidus was removed from the presidential office I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following long, the dialogue, <laughs> the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. 
Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning Super over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided Assez his marrant. time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore well. cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Il y en a eu combien des Metal Gear dans la saga des Metal Gear hein? Carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal Gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, <laughs> isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. Ah bon? Qu'est-ce donc? It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen. There isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. 
According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card 4. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Encore Ah, la carte 4. Comment ça What is it A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus That's right, modeled after Foxtai. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Ah ouais, come in. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Tuez-moi. Kill me. J'en étais sûr. There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out. Uh, do it. That's her role! Ah. Oh. No! Ah. That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? <laughs> the president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. Oh. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. Oh. All right. Et eh bah ben, c'était bien long quand même ce petit euh... <rire> cette petite scène cinématique. Euh, alors. Bon bah let's go, je sais plus, je sais pas trop où aller mais. Il va y avoir sur moi. Oh putain. Encore The president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. Okay. Oh, mais c'est bon les gars. Oh, 
Arrêtez de me harceler. President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear. You knew about Arsenal Gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal Gear? Yeah, yeah. I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal Gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? Bon, I took peux... these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim wow, to Ocelot's Wow, I didn't expect that at all. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. 
If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Eh bah putain euh, bah merci d'avoir fait la VOD euh... <rire> Monsieur Kojima hein, parce que là tu l'as fini en fait. Euh, attends mais on va où là du coup euh, de... Non. De souvenirs donc on doit aller au centre. Ouais c'est ça on doit aller euh... on doit prendre un étage de ce truc là non c'est B2 qu'il a dit. C'est B2 que la Dena. Attends, mais je suis pas sorti en fait. Ah ok, je suis sorti, je suis sorti de cette pièce. Et donc là, cinématique. Et euh, bah là, je peux sortir que par là ou de l'autre côté. Est-ce que de l'autre côté on peut sortir Ah, j'essaie de. Faire attention quand même. Ouais, on peut sortir par là, je sais pas. Ah non, on peut pas. Ok, bah vous avez perdu du temps. Désolé. Ah oui, j'ai le. En plus, j'ai le level 4. Donc à mon avis, je vais pouvoir ouvrir les portes qui sont à côté. Euh, déplacer mon personnage, c'est très laborieux. Hein. <rire> Ça, je vais essayer de trouver un autre moyen pour le 3 parce que sinon ça va être un enfer. Euh, la petite grenade chaf. Hop, puis on va prendre le petit saut comme. Non, pas par là. Non, t'es à l'intérieur. Mais de quoi tu parles souvent Euh... Attends, mais je suis baisé, là Ok. Waouh <rire> Raiden, there's a gun cipher flying over there. Those aren't the normal cipher UAVs. These are armed. Watch out. C'est tout ce que t'as à me dire Gun ciphers can be put out of commission temporarily. It is the grenade chef to interfere with their electronic sensors. Non, je les vois 10 secondes après. Je pense que je suis pas sur la bonne route hein. On va tenter mais je vais die hein. Yolo C'est pas Snake, c'est Raiden. Ah, Raiden. Ah <coughs> oh, putain. Euh, je pense qu'ici ça, ça ne sert à rien d'aller là. Du coup. Et euh, bah je suis baisé. Et ouais, les 10 secondes de décalage, c'est pour assurer la fluidité du stream en cas de perte de de, de flux. Ah mais non, mais faut que je fasse le tour. Ok, c'est bon, c'est bon, il y a un ascenseur là-bas, je m'en rappelle.
Oh Ok, c'est là. Enfin, je crois. Enfin, j'espère. <rire> Attends mais le B le B1 mais non mais je veux pas aller au 1 hein Que dois-je faire Mais que, comment Eh ah Ouais non c'est pas du tout là là c'est là où il y a la flotte non Putain mais c'est où Et en vrai ce qui me saoule c'est que le colonel quand tu lui parles au téléphone il te raconte sa vie j'en ai rien à foutre Moi je veux juste qu'il me dise va là Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number 2 on floor B1 of Shell 2's core Ah bah si c'était B1 Mais Ah bah bon cours là Bah c'était bien là donc là, il y a la chambre number 2. Ok, bon, c'est pas grave, on a pas trop perdu de temps. C'est pas par là. Ah, let's go pour les meilleures séquences de nage de tous les jeux vidéo. Are you reading me? This is Arakan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place Ooh. is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. You Listen, are... There's something I have to tell you about EE. -E. Um, um, uh, uh. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. Oh, plus elle est casse Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE was calling me for help. She e. didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed. Mais elle les couilles de ta vie de mort en fait. I I was so Emma survived the masturbating. Idea. Yeah. But my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. -E seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. -E couldn't swim anymore. That she Mais refused to wear putain. a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what Il I can do. You just said, my sister doesn't know how to swim. Point. The building Point. into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. I do that. Okay, bon. Euh, ouais, attends. Là, par là. Oh. À quoi sert cet endroit? C'est pas du tout par là. C'est là-bas en fait. Hop là, tu te vends. Ensuite, on va reprendre un peu d'air par sécurité. Ensuite, c'est par là. Avance, bougresse Euh, oui, bougresse, c'est une insulte. Ne vous en faites pas pour ça. Là, il y a des mines. Avance Euh... 
Euh, ouais, peut-être par là. Bon, il a vachement désamorcé Snake, hein. Super. Il y a des mines absolument partout. Oui, je sais qu'il parlait du C4, ne vous en faites pas. Non, non, non Par là. C'est chiant. J'espère que c'est par là, en vrai. Ça se trouve, ouais. Euh... Mais, mais je me souviens, c'est à l'autre bout, là. Il y a cette putain de porte fermée où j'ai dû refaire demi-tour et ça m'avait saoulé. On dirait un débile, là, qui nage. Quoi, ça passe pas, là Quand je passe de l'autre côté ah, Putain, c'est là-bas Là, je suis là, je monte et il y a une porte qui est niveau 4, je crois. Et ça, yes, let's go. C'est Naruto Ou c'est Metal Gear Je ne comprends plus. Oh la danseuse, il danse sur l'eau. Apparemment, il guérit pas, donc du coup, c'est chiant. Il doit avoir des cicatrices partout sur la gueule. Orochimaru. Je crois que c'est ça son nom. The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago, but the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really <laughs> think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? Oh no! Oh non, il va y avoir un cépa sorcier sur les bombes nucléaires. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top secret project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth. 
and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! No! You're still hoping Mouse. the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Quoi? Show me what you got. Il faut chanter, c'est ça? Attends, attends. Là, il y a des lumières. Bon. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Il y a un système. Ah Et on peut faire ça. Je sais pas si ça a un intérêt. Et regarde, on le voit Je sais même pas si ça a servi à quelque chose, je ne crois pas en fait. Ouais. Il nage comme un dauphin. Euh, petite ration ou pas Non, encore un peu le time. J'espère que la musique est pas vraiment trop forte. Mais c'est un peu. Allez, boum. Et je vais l'avoir au point. Hein. Lève-toi. Je vais galérer un peu là, non D'accord. Je sais pas si éteindre les lumières ça servit une fois à quelque chose. Bah oui, bah attends, il se TP Ça craint du boudin, cette histoire Euh, 
j'improvise, hein, j'avoue. Aïe 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 Mais il saute derrière moi il est chiant Chelou un peu lui Mais je peux pas, même pas faire les roulades Il fait des roulades contre les murs, c'est abruti Mais regardez ça J'ai vraiment essayé de faire une roulade propre hein. Je vais obligé de l'avoir au flingue en fait chiant oh mais il est trop fort A partir d'un certain moment, juste, il arrête de vouloir prendre ses coups de poing. Mais bon, attends. On va le faire au flingue, hein. Parce qu'il juste, il est chiant. Impossible de viser avec cette merde. C'est même pas comment on peut viser avec ça. Hein. Vas-y, fais ta danseuse là. C'est impossible de viser avec cette merde.
C'est comme ça qu'on joue les enfants Dans les jambes en plus Impossible de viser, vraiment Et je m'en sors pas trop mal Normalement à la visée mais euh... Bah bon je suis plus fort avec un, une souris Je vous avoue Mais là euh, c'est un enfer En fait tu fais un petit mouvement de manette Il perd dans tous les sens J'ai l'impression qu'en plus je le trigger quand je reste là. C'est quoi ça Ah super Plus de balles en plus. Ok bon attends on va reprendre de quoi se soigner par contre. Je crois que c'est comme ça, il faut jouer en fait, tu tires et t'ajustes après. Je crois. <rire> et c'est impossible de viser Et les roulades qui partent au hasard, c'est insupportable. Ensuite, le MK. Je comprends même pas. Des fois, j'appuie sur la touche tirée, ça ne tire pas. Et je pense que c'est plus une... Une question de... de bouton là. Putain, ça a bugué Attends, il est invincible ou pas quand il fait ça J'ai pas... pas tout à fait compris. C'est passé quoi
Alors de même toi on n'a pas toute la journée hein. Ça commence aussi la, la dèche là niveau bas. Ah oh oui, il est vraiment en stade euh, nique ta mère quoi. Wow 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 Là il s'est dit c'est bon euh... Parti pour niquer des mères quoi Non mais sincèrement C'est très dur là Putain et pourquoi le bouton ne marche pas J'appuie hein Ah putain oui non j'ai plus de balles là <rire> D'accord J'accepte. Il va me lancer un truc qui va me scotcher au sol là. Quoi mais il prend pas ses balles là Je peux rien faire à ce stade là en fait Là il est trop fort Je sais même pas où il est Je vous jure que dans ma tête ça touche. Hein. Quoi Ah Tu me gaves, man Je vais mourir. En fait, je vais complètement die. Parce qu'il faut que je reste accroupi le temps que ça remonte. Non J'attends qu'il aille se casser. J'ai pas de vie en fait. un peu non venez on fait autre chose <rire> bon déjà si t'en prends le m4 hein. le début est fin et est facile normalement si t'arrives à viser bien évidemment ok ouais Mais il n'y a pas de balle dans son flingue de mort là.
quoi Pourquoi il a fait pas paf Il est full chiant comme mec un peu non Mais quoi mais pourquoi quand je me retourne il tire au plafond Ça me saoule. Il y, a il y a différents niveaux de pression sur les touches. Quoi Mais il n'y a jamais eu ça sur les autres manettes. Pourquoi il me le dit pas ça C'est un peu plus simple, ouais. <rire> Dans ses pieds, le gars. <rire> Moi je dis là. Bah non. Ah. Oh. Il est dur hein. Ah merde j'ai plus de balles en fait. Je crois que j'ai capté. Je ne pas fâché là. Merde. Aïe. J'avais à peu près bien géré, là j'ai fait un peu de la merde. Il a vraiment essayé de me lancer dans l'eau cette sale race
Ah ouais, mais c'est à partir de là où il est juste complètement baisé de la tête, là. Regarde, tu peux plus rien faire Et là, je sais plus quoi faire. Je sais même pas où il est Il est là. Putain, je veux te charger Oh bah oui bah super je peux rien faire Quoi il a pas été touché une fois là La visée est horrible. Merde. Il était derrière. Ah, C'est vrai qu'on peut tirer sans viser aussi, je suis con. Ah non, on peut pas. Il s'en bat les couilles. J'ai appuyé hein, pour, pour être sûr. Hein. Mais. Mais. Mais attends, mais il a une visée auto quoi, il prévoit l'avenir. C'est beaucoup trop dur. Oh. C'est impossible de se diriger, c'est un enfer Je 
ça pour une petite balle dans ses pieds quoi Oh Mais pourquoi Ah oui c'est parce qu'il est au sol c'est ça Ouais bon vas-y ça me casse les couilles Vas-y j'arrête C'est bon Ça sert à rien Je de merde Hop Voilà je suis complètement invisible C'est pas grave de toute façon Hop c'est la fin de la VOD. J'en ai plein de cul Voilà. <rire>